this is Learning by the Lakeside. I'm Crystal and this is my first YouTube video. So I have some Q&A that I'm going to go through so you can get to know me a little bit better so you know what my channel is going to be about, what I'm about, and then you can come back and watch more and you can subscribe down below. Let's start with like the super basics. Okay, so when you clicked on, you saw that my channel is Learning by the Lakeside, and that's because I am a second grade teacher. Um, I love teaching. I teach in a very small district, so it's very much everybody knows everybody. It's very hometown friendly, like country, like farming, <laughs> which is a little out of my comfort zone. I grew up in Florida. I'm from here originally in Ohio, but I grew up in... Um, Florida, which was, I mean, it was a small town. It was country too, but a different kind of country. But yeah, it's been so much fun. Um, this will be my fifth year. Yikes. And that's just telling me that mama's getting old. I am 29. I'm married. I've been married. This will be my fifth year. Um, cause yeah, we got married and then I got my teaching job the same year. Um, we have one son, his name is Grayson, and he is absolutely adorable. I'm sure you guys will get to know him as I do more videos. And he is almost 19 months, like next week he'll be 19 months. And I'm so excited because we're going to Disney World. I'm a little nervous how he's going to do, but I think it's going to be a blast. And fun fact, I'm like a Disney fanatic. But anyway, okay. So the Q&A. I have some questions here, just some basic getting to know you questions. So, yeah, my channel name, Learning by the Lakeside. Oh, my name is Crystal. I totally don't think I've said that yet. Um, but yeah, I teach second grade language arts and math. Um, oh, we also have a little mini poodle. His name is Victor. And um, he was actually... Um, rehomed to us by one of my husband's former teachers so he was in a good home before it's just their family wasn't home a lot and couldn't spend as much time with him as they wanted to so we adopted him from them and he has just fit into our lives so perfectly he's the perfect little puppy he's so sweet well he's not a puppy anymore but we still call him that he's like six I think now six yeah okay let me get back to these. I'm like totally going off on tangents already. This is my favorite subject in high school. I would definitely say language arts and math, which is fitting because that's what I teach. I absolutely loved algebra and language arts. I actually really liked because I enjoy reading um, and I like to write as well, but I don't know. I, I liked language arts, but it, I think I liked math more for sure. Your favorite drink, sweet tea, and the sweeter the better. And I know it's so bad for you, but McDonald's sweet tea, mm, the best. All right, what would you name your children? Grayson. Um, my favorite song at the moment. This is awful, but I like really don't listen to music all that much anymore. Like my top playlist right now is Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and. Pretty much like, what did I just buy? It was on sale at Target. Rafi, like the best, the best of Rafi or something like that. Um, so banana phone and hot dog. Yeah, so where my mom is at. I know what you're going through. So top 40, like I don't even know what the top two are right now. Anyway, so did you participate in any sports or have you? I mean, yeah, I played basketball in like elementary school, but I cheered and was on the dance team in junior high and high school. And I pretty much did that year round and that was like my life. So favorite animal, definitely Victor, my poodle. He's so sweet. My favorite color, probably like that tealish minty blue. I really like that. Okay. My favorite holiday by far. I think they're tied. Halloween and Christmas and like Halloween has been such a huge part of my life forever I mean Christmas has too. like Halloween my family has had a Halloween party for me like every year since kindergarten It was a big to do. It was a big costume party Like 20 kindergartners my parents were nuts would come to our house dressed up They would take all of us trick-or-treating 
my parents dressed up. We went into the basement. I remember my first Halloween party, they got like a cauldron with black or black ice, dry ice in it. So it looked like it was like a cauldron that was actually brewing. And they passed these little baggies and my mom dressed like a witch. And I think my dad was dressed as something too. And they passed around these like food items for us to touch. And we thought like, ooh, eyeballs. And it was like peeled grapes. Like that just set the tone right there. Every year after that, we had to do a Halloween party. And we still get into Halloween pretty well. Like growing up, Wherever we lived, we never really had trick-or-treaters, which, like, totally bummed us out because we loved Halloween. Like, my parents' outdoor Halloween decorations are, like, on point. But we never had trick-or-treaters, like, ever. They still don't have trick-or-treaters now. They live on a busy road. But, like, we live in a little neighborhood and we get trick-or-treaters. And it is the best thing ever, you guys. I love trick-or-treating. It is awesome. Okay. But Christmas, it's just as bad. Like... The full decorations, we go all out, probably a little more than we should. And you guys, it's serious. Like, we celebrate Christmas in July. Like, don't laugh, but it's a real thing. And it's not like a full blown Christmas. We have like finger foods that are Christmas themed, though. And like, we'll do a drawing and we just put our names in a basket. And we pick one person and we get one gift or like gifts that equal up to only 25 or 50 bucks. It's like not a huge thing, but some people still think we're crazy, but we love it. So it is what it is. We love our Christmas and Halloween. Okay. Have you been out of the country? Never, not once. I can tell you I have been to the States from Ohio to Florida and Florida to Ohio and just make a little circle. That's about all I've been. And I've been to um, like the states on each side of Ohio and that's about it. So I really do want to go other places, but the problem is I am like superly, superly, that's probably not a real word. <laughs> um, I am like crazy scared of like any mode of transportation besides vehicles. I don't like boats and I don't like airplanes and I don't like trains and I really don't like being in cars either because I have motion sickness and it sucks. If I'm driving, I'm usually okay, but I like road trips, but it's like ever since becoming a mom, like everything freaks me out and I'm always worried about something bad happening, which is like so not good. Mamas that have that postpartum like anxiety, not postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety is a real thing. Like, I worry all the time, and I'm like, let go and let God, because I don't got this anymore. Jesus got this. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have all sisters. I have an older sister, stepsister, and two younger sisters. Um, our stepsister only came and visited us on the weekends, and then she just kind of, that fizzled out. But my younger sisters and I are pretty close, and we're all four years apart. So I'm 29, my um, next younger sister is 25, yeah, and then my youngest sister just turned 21, and then my older sister, God, she's going to be 33? That can't be right. Ooh, seriously, I'm going to be 30 this year, and it is bugging me out. All right, Q&A. Staying on track here and doing the best I can. All right, the next one says, what is your favorite store? Target. That, like, little meme that was floating around that was, like, the weird, like, stick people pushed in the cart and looking at the bullseye of Target, and it was, like, I'm only going in for one thing, and they come out with, like, three cartfuls. That's me every single time. Thank you, red card. Do you speak any different languages? Uh, un peu en français. That's awful. I have not spoken anything besides English. I took French in high school for like three years and I pretty much forgot all of it when I graduated. That's not a good shout out to my French teacher. Nothing against her. I just, it didn't stick and I didn't need it. So no, I don't speak any other languages. Um, my favorite restaurant, I actually really love Panera and like Chipotle. Like there's not really any places I've been going lately. Like we really don't eat out that often. Like at nice sit down places are always on the go with Grayson, like running around so much. But, um, 
I don't know. My husband and I always like to try different places instead of the typical chain restaurants. We like to try different places in area um, towns that we that are near us. So we're always trying something new, but I'm always up for Mexican. I will never turn that down. Give me some queso and chips any day. Okay, my some of my favorite YouTubers. Okay, so this is where I'm like so excited. I just. I always liked YouTube videos and I would say like four or five years ago like when my husband and I when Justin and I were first married and when I first started teaching and like he wasn't he's a teacher now we actually work in the same building which is really convenient so we can carpool and everything and our schedules are like literally exactly the same but he had um, a different job then and he worked all summer and I didn't and we didn't have Grayson yet and like I mean we had Victor but I really didn't do a whole lot in the summers like I don't have a lot of friends <laughs> but like my sisters and I would hang out and I would do some things with like coworkers and stuff but it was like I was at home all the time and I'm like YouTube it and that's seriously when my obsession started but like once I started getting more into my job and really taking on that role of teaching um, and then when like my husband and I started making more friends and I don't want you to sound like, why doesn't she have friends? Like, like I said, I lived in Florida most growing up. And then when I moved back here, I went to college, but I didn't really have a huge group of friends. So that was part of like, it was hard for me, but anyway, I don't want to like go off into this whole different tangent, but basically like. I didn't really know a lot of people because I graduated high school in Florida and all my close friends were there. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I just really got on this obsession of YouTube and I loved it. And like four or five years ago, I was like, I want to do this. Like I can totally see myself being a YouTuber. But then like time got away from me and everything started happening. And then before you know it, Grayson comes along and then like, when I was home on maternity leave, I remember thinking, oh, I could really just watch some YouTube videos like while I'm nursing or just hanging out with my baby and I'm holding him while he's napping. And and I went back to watch some of the old YouTube videos and they're still wonderful. Those YouTubers are fantastic. But I was like, oh, this is like so not the season of my life that I'm in right now. They're so like the young girls that are so beautiful and they do their makeup and everything so perfectly and I'm just like I have spit up on my shoulder and I haven't showered in four days because I have a newborn phase I was like I want to watch some mamas out there who are going through the same thing as me and so that kind of started my journey on looking for youtubers that were closer to my age and that were new mamas or had the same occupation as me and I remember I don't I I think I typed in like teacher mom or like something totally generic like that but um, too cool for middle school popped up and shout out to her her video about um, her birth experience I think came up and oh my gosh I was like yes preach girl I am so glad I found her channel she is so inspiring and just a shout out to you you have no idea who I am but I am such a fan of yours because it was just like, oh my gosh, there's somebody else out there who's a new mom, who's also a teacher. I could totally relate and I was so glad I found that. And through her YouTube channel, I was able to find other teachers um, and I had no idea. It like opened me up to this world of teachers on YouTube and it was this community I never even knew existed. So I am like so excited to be a part of that community and I hope I am embraced with open arms because I am embracing you guys back. I just love that community and I can't wait to be a part of it. But so too cool for middle school, Megan, like she is my favorite YouTube channel probably because she was my first teacher mom that was my age doing YouTube videos and she is just such an inspiration. So, okay, I'm done with that little spiel. Okay, my favorite movie. Oh gosh, I like so many movies, but I would probably have to say The Holiday is like my favorite. I watch it year round. 
even though it's not, I mean, it's a Christmas movie, but it's not like too Christmassy, but seriously, I love that movie. Um, favorite TV shows. Ugh, I really don't watch any. My husband and I are watching The Good Wife right now on Amazon. Um, that's been pretty good. Um, but other than that, kid shows. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is right at the top of the list there. Puppy Dog Pals. Basically anything Disney Junior. Yeah. That's right on our TV pretty much 24-7. Or my husband is watching like racing or something like that. So I really don't watch much TV. But it is what it is. We, we really like to watch movies though. And actually we're supposed to be going on a date tonight. And I'm like so excited he went to drop off our son um, at his parents house. They're going to watch him for us. This is like our second date since he's been born. And you guys, he's like over a year and a half old. Like, it's so long overdue. If I could give you any advice if you're a new parent, take the time to have dates with your spouse because it is so needed. So needed. We're going to go see Jurassic World, maybe, tonight. He wants to see Incredibles too. You guys, we're in full on Disney mode. I know I'm rambling. I freaking love Disney. Anyway. We're going on a date. He should be here any minute. I thought he was going to totally come in and interrupt this video, but for all I know, he could be sitting in the living room listening to this. I hope not. <laughs> all right. I think I'm almost done with this Q&A. Do you have any pets? I already answered that. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. So this was kind of a long, random, all over the place Q&A. But hopefully that gives you a little bit more information about who I am. I can't wait to get to know you guys and be a part of this community with other teachers and other teachers who are also moms and just getting to know what it's like in the life of a mom struggling with the everyday chaos of life. And I want to be with you on that journey and just be an encouragement to others. And I want us to go along on that ride together. So I hope you come back to see what I have in store for you guys. Please subscribe and I will see you later.